Next, let us talk about the Torrance tests of uh, creative thinking. Now, Torrance tests are uh, the preferred way of uh, measuring or identifying creativity, divergent thinking or other problem solving skills. For uh, measuring or identifying academic capabilities or intellectual capabilities, you have uh, various other standardized IQ tests. But when it comes to creativity, divergent thinking and problem solving skills, that is where Torrance tests are very important. Now, these are called Torrance tests because obviously they were devised by a person called Ellis Paul Torrance. And uh, you don't need to know the specifics of uh, these tests, but you need to be aware of the basics because in the exam, you might see questions which will ask you to identify Torrance test measure which of the following. So the answer will be creativity, divergent thinking or problem solving skills or they might ask you to identify which of the following can measure or identify creativity, divergent thinking or problem solving skills and the answer will be Torrance tests. Now Torrance tests involves some tasks. So these can be verbal tasks or non-verbal tasks which the test takers have to complete. And the test takers are scored on four scales or four parameters that is fluency that is how meaningful and relevant is the idea or the answer that they have come up with and if you give them the same kind of problem with different variables or different scenarios right? so how flexible are they in coming up with an answer for the new situation and originality that is is the solution or answer that they have given is it original or have they just copied a previous answer or an existing solution and elaboration that is have they just given some basic idea or have they given the details of how it can be implemented so fluency flexibility originality and elaboration are the parameters or the scales on which the test takers are measured now torrance tests are uh, quite reliable given the fact that they have been extensively used and tested in the past for example in one study in uh, minnesota in uh, the us the test was administered in 1958 and it was administered to a group of elementary school children at that time. And later on, the same people who now had grown up. So a follow up was done after 22 years and after 40 years from the original test and even after 50 years from the original test to see if the results or the predictions of the original tests were still true and correct. So that way, Torrance tests have been shown to be quite reliable in measuring creativity, divergent thinking and problem solving skills.